Hey everybody, it's Omnidog. Hey Omnidogs and Omni Kittens, how are you doing today? Ah, today, what I'm going to do is I'm showing a major IST haul. This is the past 10 days. I don't know what happened. They books just came in and I don't remember ordering them. It, it was, my head was fuzzy. It was all dark. I just must have been pushing buttons or something. I don't know. But yeah, I can't even afford my alimony now if, if I actually paid alimony. So this is the can't pay the alimony edition. So without further ado, here is what I got uh, in, on IST, from IST, in the first um, 10, not the first 10 days, the past 10 days. And I'm drinking a new root beer here. This is called Teddy's. Let's see how it tastes. Smells good. Hey, not too shabby. This is pretty decent. Nice, no bite, very foamy, nice and creamy. Teddy's, good job. I like it a lot. So, one of the first things before we get to books is I did get some vinyl. And I got three new pieces of vinyl. I haven't opened this one yet. But Postmodern Jukebox. Shout out to David Codd, who is uh, a great guy. And in um, on a Facebook group I'm part of, he posted this as something that he listened to. And what you really got to do is see these guys on YouTube because they take modern songs and put a vintage spin on it. And there's this gal, Haley Reinhardt, who has a phenomenal voice and the music is great. Postmodern Jukebox on YouTube. They are wildly popular and I can see why. Their videos are fantastic and their music obviously is great. So I highly recommend that. Another one I got for fun. I haven't, I need to um, play this. I've seen the movie and loved it. Hot Fuzz from Mondo. This is a piece of colored vinyl. And it's creamy peachy color. Let's see if I can get it better. Yeah, so that's cool. I'll listen to that today. And then, I can't remember, oh, I got an email that there was this um, particular music that I might like from St. Marie Records. And this group's called Sea Surfer. And this is called Under the Milky Way, Who Cares? This is kind of shoegazy, um, little droney, thrummy, shoegazy kind of music. I really love it. Uh, I highly recommend it. And of course, this came on colored vinyl too. Very pretty and very pretty music. So that's it for vinyl. Let's get to what I crazily ordered on IST. First up, Bloodshot Reborn Deluxe Edition 2. Got that because I love Valiant and their stuff. Then I read good reviews from Paste Magazine about a two series. One of the series is called Welcome Back. So I'm going to be reading these and reviewing these. Um, here's a quick synopsis of it because I think uh, it's worth... I'll show you the, some art while I'm reading this. This is not a love story. Molly and Tessa have lived hundreds of lives. Reincarnated throughout time, friend and foe are caught in a war so endless that neither side recalls what they continue to fight for until now. So these soldiers get reincarnated only to keep fighting, and one of them changes her mind and doesn't want to fight, but the other one wants to continue to fight. So this sounded good to me, and it's two volumes. Welcome back. One, welcome back. Two. Then also through, well, it may not have been paced. I, I, I read a lot of uh, comic book reviews 
online that get emailed to me. Um, I try not to read too many reviews because I feel like it might interfere with, interfere with my own reviews, but I'm always up for somebody pointing out um, new reads and new books. And this one is called Joyride. And let me give you some photos while I read this. Earth sucks. <laughs> the stars have been blocked out for so long that people have forgotten there is anything else besides the World Government Alliance watching over them. Uma Acolyte is a girl who shirts first, blah 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 desperate blah, 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 blah. And so she does. When Uma jacks an alien spaceship and punches through the stratosphere, she sets forth on an adventure with an unlikely crew. So that sounds fun to me. Somebody who steals a spaceship to leave Earth because Earth apparently blows, or as the back cover said, socks. So that's Joyride number one. And I'm going to review that with Welcome Back. Here's Joyride number two. And here's a couple of more familiar books that I got. DC Universe Rebirth Deathstroke 3. That is coming up in my read-a-thon of Rebirth. So I will be reviewing that. And a book I've been looking forward to, Super Sons. Look at these two wild woogas. They're fun. Even Damien's fun in this. DC Universe Rebirth Super Sons. Then, a highly acclaimed book that I think has been out for a couple of years and I've just been dropping the ball and getting it. Beautiful Darkness. Um, it's called An Anti-Fairy Tale. I believe it is a bunch of fairies living on a dead body and what happens to them. I'll have to do a review of this one too, but I think this one's already been pretty much reviewed into the ground. It's gotten so many awards and so many people going crazy over it. Um, and the art is fun. And the book is supposed to be really great. So I don't know a whole lot about it other than there's a dead body that fairies live on and in and what happens to that society. Next, here's a book some of you will be familiar with. I'm gonna do an overview of this book, Grayson. I read the first two trades of this and really dug it, so I was up for getting this. Um, it's a nice thick Omni, and the Super Spy Omnibus. I dig this front cover, it's really cool looking. Then, sadly, I lost these three books in the flood, but I decided to buy them back. The three Black Sad books. Black Sad Anthropomorphic Cat, who is a um, detective. Great books. I love Black Sad. From Dark Horse. Easy to find, not out of print, uh, and really worth your time. Okay, here we go with some more. Baltimore. The Red Kingdom. This is volume eight, I believe. Yep, volume eight. And no, I haven't started reading these yet. I'm gonna get through my Hellboy readathon. This is by Mignola, Lasagna, Mignola. Um, this is um, a separate thing from Hellboy, but I still wanna read it. Wait, it's, it is separate than Hellboy. Yeah, I do wanna read it, but I'm gonna wait till I'm done with my readathon. Here's another Mignola book, Mr. Higgins Comes Home. This got good reviews, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And here's where I went crazy on scary books. Whoops, Giant Days isn't scary. But uh, there was a um, article about books that um, were good for Halloween. And I, it turns out I kind of have a weakness for things that are scary and, and bloody in comics. Not so much movies, but comics, I definitely do. The first one is... The Dark and Bloody. It's a Vertigo comic series. And don't know what it's about. So, I mean, I do know what it's about because I read about it. Um, here's what it looks like. Doo, 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 doo. Iris Gentry thought the worst was over. A veteran of the Iraq War, he returned home shaken and psychologically scarred, but with body and spirit intact. 
breaking local liquor laws, innocent guilty, a terrifying tale of crime, combat, and the evils they unleash. Sounds good to me. Another one is called, from Black Mask Studios, The Dregs. I dig Black Mask Studios. They do a really good job with their work. Um, let's see if I can tell you what a little bit about. A gentrified city, its homeless population restrict, restricted to six square blocks called the dregs. When people start disappearing, a drug-addled homeless man obsessed with detective fiction becomes addicted to solving the mystery. That sounds cool. So this is the dregs. Let me give you another little bit of photo bait here. And then we have... A book that I know nothing about. It's also Vertigo. I wonder how I missed this. It's called Survivor's Club. What if the horror movies of the 1980s were real? Where are those kids today? That sounds pretty crazy. Actually, I might read this today. That sounds really good. I really, yeah, I am going to read this today. I love the sound of this book. The Haunted House, The Demonic Doll, The Cursed Video Game, The Monstrous Neighbor, The Vengeful Ghost, The Killer Imaginary Friend. 1987, a wave of horrors struck six communities around the globe. Six traumatized kids survived those events and grew up haunted by what happened to them. Almost 30 years later, the six survivors are drawn together in Los Angeles to confront a terrifying childhood nightmare that has returned. Oh yeah, reading this today. Then I will review it. This has got Omnidog's name all over it. And then the last scary book. Who's this by? Dark Horse. House of Penance. It's by Peter J. Tomasi, whose work I really dig. A horrific story of a haunted house and one woman's mission to wash away the blood curse of her husband's invention from claiming her own life and soul. Oh, this is about Winchester Mystery House. I've been there in California. I grew up in California, and I've been there, uh, the Winchester Mystery House. It's like near San Jose. She built a house with uh, because she inherited the Winchester fortune and was so distraught about the havoc that the Winchester guns created. She built a house to capture and trap and chase away spirits, and so there's stairs leading to nowhere and doors that open onto walls, and it's she just kept building and building. It's a crazy house, but this must be the story of it, so I think I'm into this, too. I've toured that house. It's really funny. It's not haunted or anything, but it is spooky. Giant Days number six. Love this book. You already know about it, I'm sure. And then another double... Book by Grant Morrison, Sebastian O, oh, and the Mystery Play. So I got that. Then I decided I needed some sex. Who doesn't? So I got Joe Casey's Sex, all five books. Um, let's see, I'll give you some photo bait and tell you what it's about. I don't even know that there's that much sex in it, but it says, Welcome to Saturn City. Simon Cook may have returned to the city he'd previously sworn to protect, but he's also retired from his own personal alternative lifestyle and has yet to find something to replace it with. Now he's just another average citizen. Or is he? This is repression at its most stylized. There's a big bad world out there ready to be embraced, only if he's man enough to do it. Whoa! <laughs> I guess there is sex in it. Sorry, I hope I didn't offend anybody with that one. I didn't even look. So I got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five. So I'll be getting some sex here. Finally. And a book that I read in singles and liked... I finally pulled the trigger on Butcher Baker, The Righteous Maker, also by Joe Casey. This was on my wish list, and I needed it to round up to 50 bucks for free shipping on IST, so I got it the other day. And I have a feeling that's what a lot of these are. I made a bunch of small orders and rounded up to, 
to get free shipping. So, of course, I spent money to save $5 on shipping. Now, this next one comes as a recommendation from my friend Bon Idlehouse, Samaris. It is a comic from IDW. I believe it's a Euro comic. I don't know what it's about. Bon says it's great. So I usually take what Bon says and I run with it because he loves unique and different books. And um, he has great taste in books. So shout out to Bon Idlehouse for recommending this. I will be reading this very soon. And now, shout out to me, Harley Quinn, my fave. I love Harley Quinn, and this is a cover gallery of most of her cover appearances. I was surprised they don't have the entire Carl Kessel run in here, because that was a lot of covers that they could have included, but they do have the entire New 52 run, and so far all of the Rebirth run. They've got all of the variants that you could possibly want. Harley Quinn has a ton of variants that are throughout the years. Um, and I, of course, just love Harley Quinn, and it's fun looking through this book. This is a total guilty pleasure because all it is is covers. So I dig the art in these. I dug collecting these as covers. So this is just a guilty pleasure for me, something I really dig. And we have the most guilty pleasure of all coming up. That would be a book that has been criticized as really not that good, but it's got Harley Quinn in it. So I had to get it. Rebirth Suicide Squad. There's Harley front and center on the cover with all the other dudes in it. Um, I, I liked the very first Suicide Squad of DC Rebirth. Uh, that's, I'm sorry, of New 52. Then there was a second reboot that was okay. I haven't read this. I, I, it's not, I'm just not objective when it comes to Harley Quinn. I just love Harley Quinn. So I suck. You may want to not read this. I don't know. I'll read it and review it and give you my honest review. If, if it's bad, I will tell you because I, I am going to be doing a, a rebirth re review of everything. Re 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 review. Here's a great book. Justice League America, The Nail. The Nail refers to Superman who doesn't exist in this particular Elseworlds tale, Elseworlds tale and what they would do without him. Uh, this is by Alan Davis. This is a classic book. So I'm happy to reread this. And then finally, in this crazy world of mine, <laughs> Powers. I lost this book in the flood, and I love Brian Michael Bendis. Volume one. Let's hope it gets a volume two. Uh, this is a big, monstrous book. Cost $125. Well, I pay less for that on for it on IST. But um, yeah, Powers. So I'm going to do a review of a lot of these books. I appreciate your watching. Some people like to watch hauls, and I, and I appreciate that. I like to watch other people's hauls. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Um, if any of these books stood out to you and you really want a review of them, let me know, and I'm happy to do a review. So thanks for watching, and take care.